Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with a quick movie review. This is for Flatliners. I went to watch it last night with a couple of friends. Uh, story is you've got uh, is they're all like a set of student doctors, I guess, or like training doctors. Uh, one of them has been researching uh, about the afterlife and what people see and wanted to experience it for herself. So she's she's not made the machinery. She sort of got the equipment together to. Um, be able to experience life after death for a minute and get someone to bring her back out. She basically um, asks, convinces a couple of people to help her. Uh, and then she goes through it, tells them what they see, so then a couple of them want to go in as well. And then she starts having horrible visions of her sister who dies uh, at the beginning, mainly because it was her fault. Um, and the other ones are having like visions. It's sort of like a horror element to it. It was okay. Um, wasn't good. It like it was shit, but it wasn't complete utter bullshit. That it was just like I could have easily fell asleep or walked out of. Um, it the when she figure out what it is, um, and how they overcome it, just kind of kills it instantly. So the whole point of it was it was their guilty conscience coming back to haunt them in a way. Um, so. Uh, Ellen Page is the main character. Her guilty consciousness was her sister dying because of her. So her sister's sort of like haunting her and stuff. She starts seeing things. Um, there's one of the other guys. Uh, his one is... A girl he slept with ages ago, got pregnant, and she was going to help him through the abortion and everything, then left. Um, and then another one was... There's there's basically three girls, two guys. The second guy doesn't go in because he actually has a brain. Um, but the three girls, one of them was her sister died. One of them was he accidentally killed a patient because he gave her the wrong medication. And the second, the third one was uh, someone was doing better than her in class, so she leaked her naked photo online. And then she's felt basically they've felt guilty about it for ages, and now it's coming back to haunt them. And the way they get over it is two of them go to the person that they did and um they literally apologize for everything ask for forgiveness uh, like oh, i'm sorry it was me i didn't mean to blah 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 and all that stuff um and that's literally how it ends like suddenly their brain's all fine and nothing's going to haunt them anymore because they've basically asked for forgiveness for this uh and that's literally just what kills the mood for me uh the third one she has to learn to forgive herself because uh, Ellen Page's character, she ends up dying because she starts freaking out of her flat. And she feels, it basically looks like she gets pushed by her sister, but she topples over the rail and like falls to her death. Um, and it's just like, like she's the one that dies, and then she shows up in the one that accidentally murdered a person, and she just goes, forgive yourself, that's how you'll get over this. Like, she instantly knows now she's dead, and she'll, she knows she'll show up. It's just, most of the logic is just gone. And, it, you know, that's what, that's why I just found it like the ending was so mediocre. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. It's definitely not watchable like for a second time. 1 was fine, but I was just never invested. Um, and for some reason when it comes to like horror-ish elements now, the CGI for films are really crap. But that's pretty much my review of Flatliners. If you enjoyed it, then do let me know what you enjoyed about it. I personally didn't enjoy it too much. I'm definitely not going to watch it again. But that's my review on Flatliners. Let me know what you think and I shall see you in the next one.